Hey, uh, I apologize. I've been really inconsistent with my uploads and um, topically kind of all over the place. I've kind of got two things going on right now. We've had some deaths in the family and going through a lot of tough issues. You can see behind me, we're not exactly in um, the best of sorts in our uh, lives right now. Just trying to get things together. It's been a really tough few weeks here. Um, also kind of rethinking the channel itself. Um, I've been studying the algorithm a little bit and realizing that, you know, I probably need to really just enjoy making videos more than worrying about um, getting results because I'm probably, no matter what topics I choose, I'm not going to make it too far in the algorithm. That's just not gonna happen, especially certain certain topics. So I've also decided, even though I'm doing it right now, that I'm gonna ramble a little less. The, my last videos, I've actually been practicing keeping them under about five minutes because um, I just don't have the quality of video that a lot of people, keeps a lot of people's attention. But I also have to find a, I have to find a place where I enjoy uh, making videos. And I think, um, my mindset is all over the place sometimes, um, especially right now with things the way they are. So I'm just honestly just trying to download a couple things. Uh, so I apologize for spending a lot of time on this, but um, we'll see. I'll maybe retool things a little bit in the future. But I want to talk about what's on my mind right now, uh, which is what's going on with Battle 2042 and a pattern I'm noticing. First off, if you, if you ever hear someone say the words, No Man's Sky, hey, this game could be a no man's sky situation. You really need to not listen. They, they could, they may not, I'm not saying you should dismiss them. I'm saying though that they're probably wrong if they think a game's going to become a no man's sky situation. No man's sky is a very unique situation. They've been updating that game for six years and haven't charged anyone anything since release. And that is rare. Hello Games has gone out of their way to recover themselves. And I, as far as I know, they haven't charged for their for the content they've been putting into the game. And you should look into No Man's Sky now if you like these kind of games. Because it's, look, it's really good. I played it, and it's, it's a really good game now. I'd say the closest I've seen to Cyberpunk 2077. That's, it, but again, even they're not going to spend six years trying to recover their game. Um, in fact, I'd say in another year or two, it's probably going to be, they're going to wrap it up and the game will never achieve the promises it made. Whereas No Man's Sky is actually getting pretty close. Um, they've actually gone beyond some of the promises they've made in, in some sense. Um, but you should know that particularly with Battlefield 2042, that most of these games are going to be in, end up more like Anthem than they are No Man's Sky. And Battlefield 2042 is getting the Anthem treatment. Now, what do I mean by that? Okay, so if you recall, Anthem came out, it was a disaster, which did not surprise me at all. In fact, I became quite obsessed with watching videos on this game. I, I just was so interested, it was a train wreck. And what happened here was I remember everyone believing everything BioWare and EA said about this game. They're like, oh, they're gonna do this, and they're gonna do that, and they're gonna, they say, and they kept saying these things, everybody believed them. I was like, I remember going, they're not going to do that. They're not going to do that either. And the big one is they came out and said, hey, we are going to do an Anthem 2.0 launch. We're going to get our teams together and we're going to really work on a, on a 2.0. And we're going to revisit this in a year and we'll come back. And this is how they've done bare minimum content next to none. And I was watching Heels versus Babyface. Great channel if you're into like pop culture and things like that. And highly recommend the guy's hilarious. And he was believing this. And I put on there, and I, I said, he was a little skeptical though. And I said, I'm sorry, his name's Az. I said, This as this is this is a PR exit strategy. They're not, they're not going to, to do an anthem 2.0. And I predicted on there, not that not that you should believe people's predictions, and generally they're not right, but I said, I think what they're going to do is they're going to say Dragon Age 4 is taking up, it's going to be amazing, and we're not going to do an Anthem 2.0 now because Dragon Age 4 requires all these teams to come in and get everybody hyped for that game instead. But they didn't do that. They just kind of a year later said, yeah, we've really looked into it, and it's just not worth it. And I was like, big shock, you know. 
Same thing is happening with Battlefield 2042. Exact same thing. Battlefield 2042, what's going on? We got the release of a scoreboard, and it's not even end around scoreboard, right? It took absolutely no effort to make the scoreboard. It, it's kind of shocking to people. They're like, whoa, you're not going to put any effort into this? No, they're not. And then what did we hear? Well, we got Vince Ampella, and we got all these guys together, and we are going to blow this up. And we're getting the op in, in we're getting the opposite behavior from what they're saying, right? They're saying one thing, but they're doing something else. We're, when we see that bleeding out right now, it's like, oh, by the way, we're gonna re rearrange some flags on a map, and that's coming out. That one map is coming out mid June. That's Kaleidoscope. It's coming out mid June, <laughs> mid summer. Rearranging flags. They're doing nothing. And I, I've told a group of my friends that I love them to death uh, in my in, in the platoon I'm in on Battlefield and PlayStation Six Star. I went into a chat one day and I said, "Don't believe anything they're saying. They're not fixing this game, and they're not. They are not fixing this game. It is not going to happen. They're giving it the Anthem treatment right now. They have people believing the same thing they did with Anthem that the, Vince and of these people are behind the scenes and grinding away and getting this thing going." Nobody's working on this game. The game's already dead. Other people are working on the game. And I want to cut through some of the confusion we're seeing in the YouTube community. In the YouTube community, you've got a lot of people that are shaking their heads, you know, scratching their heads and going, with such little effort. I actually think the teams, the team that's working on it, which who is it? Two people, probably three people. I, I doubt it's very many. They probably are working hard. I'm sure they are. Final comment, just to keep for the sake of brevity. You and me, one of the reasons why we can't understand what's going on with EA Dice is because you are not likely the kind of person that would look at somebody and give them a bald face lie. You're the kind of person that if you made a deal with somebody, likely you're the kind of person that would like, you at least meant it when you said it. You know what I mean? Um, you told your friend you were going to be over and then push came to shove. And it was like, oh, God, I just don't feel like it. You probably meant it when you said it. These people are, are basic thieves and con men. They don't care about you and they're not interested. They just are only interested in your money and they already have it. So it's best to remember that going into anything with the words EA and especially with anything dot, with the name Dice on it. Additionally, do not let people tell you that DICE isn't complicit with EA's lies and this con they've been involved in with Battlefield 2042. They made the game to be a trailer. This game was designed to be a trailer, okay? And they they were complicit in doing that. They didn't notice they didn't leak out any information. There wasn't any, there were no whistleblowers. There were no way they came out ahead of time and warned us and said, hey guys. This, this isn't going to work out. The people at DICE that are at the top were pushing the game too. And they knew how bad it was going to be. And they're liars too. Now your average person in there that was just typing away at their computer or whatever they do when they're programming a game, you know, they, they, are, they, they don't deserve any blame at all. But generally at DICE as a developer, just as a corporate developer, they are liars too. And I'm sorry, I apologize for calling people names but I'm not pointing at any individual you know I'm just saying that generally speaking you should see these entities as only interested in money they're not going to give you your money's worth and hopefully in the future you and I myself will become way more skeptical about what they're going to accomplish have a good one